Uh, welcome to LG Machinery online auction or store inventory. And today we have for you uh, Murata Muratec. This is actually a Japan, Japanese European made machine. And uh, this is MW16. It's a tracker, two spindle tracker with gantry loader or a robotic arm, however you want to see it. But uh, robots, you know, these are uh, machines which you can uh, set up with any machine. And a gantry loader in the industry standard. These are uh, just the robots which are, for example, made for a, for a purpose. And this robot was made, so, uh, you know, by, uh, by Murata, Muratec, uh, to be uh, loading, unloading uh, this uh, twin spindle lathe. It's twin spindle tracker. And uh, you know what, uh, we have it under, um, already warmed it up, so we can, you know, speed up all the rapids, so I can show you exactly the operation of this machine. And right now I have, uh, I have a cycle running. Including spindles and uh, including um, the gantry loader. And I have it set it up on a small, uh, small stacker table right here. Which, uh, you know, if in previous operation we set it up for a customer. He ran right here at 13 parts, I believe. Actually 12 parts, but uh, you, can, uh, you can actually put more. Depends where you want to put your... Uh, put your uh, uh, part holders right here and this is out table this is you know turning and uh, when uh, when a gantry loader it's gonna drop a part around right here it will it will drop down here and uh, the, the unload the conveyor will go out you can use this one on whatever different conveyors you know uh, you can think of you can use this stacker table it depends on the parts or set it up for yourself it doesn't matter uh, let's see, uh, right now let's, uh, I'm going to crank up all the feeding operations, so we have it at 100%. This machine, you know, uh, it goes with uh, uh, OTT control, OTT control on it, so uh, with beautiful options, very nice options, like inch and metric conversions, you know, all the, all the, all the G-codes, you know, they're all, you know, this is a top machine, so uh, very, very nice. And of course, you know, gantry loader programming, it's very simple. I'm gonna open up the door, right here. So we can take a look on the working machine inside. Uh, this is, you know, very, very easy to uh, program, uh, program this gantry loader because all of the options inside, like all your, um, all your, uh, all your uh, ready parts, you know, like uh, parts positions, you can actually set it up, you know, pre-program in there and use those uh, pre-programmed values. And this is all inside, the, all inside the controller. That's why you have like a for gantry loader operation. You have here a whole bunch of options right there. And uh, you can, uh, you can uh, change the program yourself. You can, uh, you can program, you know, all the set points like loading, unloading. Uh, very, very nice. It's very, very nice. And let's go from the beginning. Right now uh, I program it so it goes back twice, like right now it starts up, the cycle, goes in, gantry loader goes in, picks up the part and it's going to go part by part. Goes up, goes to the first available machine unit, right here, it's going to clamp it, unclamp it, you can orient the spindles, very nice option also. I have it, you know, here so, uh, so it waits so uh, we can actually see, you know, uh, the, the, the old cycle in a, in a slower. Left side already started because uh, it's loaded. Let's see. And what it does right now, it takes out the part and very nice, very nice uh, option about this machine. It's got actually uh, those two tracks you can see in the background. You can actually switch your parts. So for example, you can switch uh, uh, which, uh, from uh, front side and back side, you can switch it, uh, switch your parts. So you don't have to flip it or leave it on the stacker table. You don't have to flip it at all. It's gonna flip it automatically for you. And all those values, they're the same thing pre-programmed -pre in, a, in a control itself. So right now, let's go and drops the part right here. And it's gonna go for the a, for a beginning of the cycle. It goes in, picks up the part. Right now it's gonna be another one. First one that it goes, clamps in. Goes to the first available unit, puts in the parts Loads the part in. I 
Actually, first it unload the part. That's why it swiveled the swiveled the chuck. And the unload part will go here to the to the transfer front rear transfer. It will take out you know transfer part already. So we can do the other side operation. Transfer the one on top, and it waits for a ready signal from a left, which goes uh, and works on the front part. When it's going to be done right now, working on the on the front end of the part or rear end, it depends. You know how you set up your operation. It's going to open up and tell it to change it. It's going to take out the good part, put in the flipped part already flipped part, load it in, and drop it off on an out conveyor. It should drop in there and goes to the ready bin. And same thing, cycle starts again. So it will go in right here, take another available part, goes in, loads it to the rear, unloads the part, right now loads the part to the right uh, lathe, to the right side. Left side, it starts working. Right now, takes in, puts in the part which I just took out from this spindle. Takes out flip part already from top chucks. Chucks, top chucks, they're gonna flip out the part again, which will, which will uh, originally will uh, came out of this one. It's already flipped right here. And when this one is done working, it will load. Unload the part from a chuck and load part which was already previously in this chuck. Go out, trap the ready part. So we have two sided operations right here. It's beautiful setup, beautiful setup. And goes in again. Picks up the part, takes the part up. Unloads the part out of the right right uh, spindle, flips the chucks, load, it's going to load in the part, unload the part to the, to the uh, front uh, rear uh, transfer, take the part already transferred part already to work on the other side. The transfer chucks right now they're working. There it is. When it's done, left side is gonna be done working on the part itself, like right now, it's gonna open up, unload the part, which is already done, ready. It's already it was transferred from one chuck to the other. Load it in. And drop the part over. And using this machine, actually with a part transfer on top, this is a, can save you lots of lots of money. And the very, you know, this is very easy, easy to, uh, this is very easy to program and operate. A very easy, easy uh, and good going machine. I'm going to show you in a, in a, in a videos, uh, next videos. I'm going to show you a gauging on it. This actually is a super precision lathe. Uh, that means uh, it's got not only takes the position out of uh, out of the motors, Fanuc motors. Uh, it also it also has on a, each ball screw it has separate inductors in. So this is actually a super precision lathe. That's what they call super precision. So it will you know keep your uh, tolerances you know all day long. It's got you know many useful features like uh, tool life management. You know it has to have it because. Uh, uh, then you can, you know, load it and program it and uh, work on it, you know, whatever, the whole day it can work on its parts, you know, and uh, then uh, on the end of the shift you'll go in and uh, check, you know, all of, uh, check your, uh, uh, check your uh, knives, you know, and inserts, change them and it can uh, run again. So in next video we do gauging and maybe step by step, you know, work of this machine. Thank you so much for watching this introduction video and I hope uh, this is a good system for you.